Hey guys, what's going on? Um, I want to do a quick video on basically how I made a 78 on the CPA reg exam while maintaining and building this six figure tax and advisory firm. Um, just a little bit of background about me. I originally worked at a big four public accounting firm um, on the audit side. And then I uh, then I stopped that and basically created my own smaller, oh, my own firm for small businesses. Uh, so I currently do that now. So I'm on the topic I'm, I'm talking about is reg, right? So I made a SEMD on a reg. I kind of want to um, tell you how I kind of did that while running this business. I uh, really thought once I left my big four uh, job, I thought I was going to have a lot more time to study for um, all these CPA exams to get my, you know, my license. But you originally, you don't have enough time, right? Um, so that's kind of one of the things that I wanted to address. I really thought I was going to have enough time to study. I wanted to at least put in two hours of study time because I was because I use Becker because uh, a big four just gives you Becker and I kept the code. So I was using Becker, but I also had a supplemental a supplement um, course guideline from Superfast CPA. So I basically took his study method and applied it to how I was studying. Uh, and, you know, his method, you can look on his website and see how his method is. But he basically tells you two two hours a day is basically what you need. So that's what I went about. Um, I started, st I, I was waking up at 4.30 um, and I needed this because once nine o'clock hits, all my clients that I have underneath my firm, they're going to call, they're going to ask questions. The meetings that I have, it's just going to interfere. So I needed some quiet time just so I can study by myself. So I can kind of really sit down and learn this while being, um, you know, not focused. So I woke up at 4.30 uh, Monday through Friday and really just put in two hours, three hours in, um, just studying the material. Um, questions after questions after questions. Uh, so that's how I really got, uh, that's how I really approached it. I just, I didn't take any practice exams. Um, no, I lied. I took one practice exam, did terrible on it, made like a 56. I said, I'm wasting my time with this. Uh, just because it was so long, I already, already knew that I could sit for the exam. Um, I just need to know the material. So what I did was really do, just do a, a ton of practice questions, multiple choice practice questions, and then the sims. I did, I want to say I did 120 a day um, of multiple of multiple choice questions, and I did about four sims a day. Um, I was doing that daily, um, and that's how, and I walked away with 78 on the reg exam. So that's how I kind of went that approach with it. Um, another thing that I did was really, I hired a tutor. Um, so back in college, I went to S of A. I wasn't the smartest, uh, 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 smartest student. I was just like, whatever I need to do to pass, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna find out how to pass. I wasn't the smartest student, right? So I had to go. So the stuff I thought I learned back in college, I kind of wasn't taking it serious. So I didn't learn it and comprehended it the way a regular accountant should. Uh, so I hired a tutor. I will actually put her information down here on the link below, wherever that link may be. But I hired a tutor and I met with her, I want to say two weeks from the exam date. I was meeting with her three to four times a week for an hour and a half, just relearning material. And I wanted her to speak to me in a different language from what I was listening, like the Becker uh, lectures or listening to YouTube videos. I wanted someone to be able to speak uh, like a CPA already to speak in a different language to me so, can, so I can basically have things click. Um, so that's how I went about it. And. I spent over $2,000 on this tutor and I passed the exam, but it was, you know, this is an investment that I wanted to make because I can't have this tax and advisory firm uh, and not be a CPA or a licensed CPA or something, you know, something like that. Um, so this is an investment that I, you know, was going to make. So I spent like $2,000 on this tutor. They can get pricey, but if you want to be a CPA, you got to do whatever it takes, right? So she taught me how to move, how to, how to move throughout the exam, um, how to answer questions, how to understand the wording. So it was a great investment. Um, but those are the two things I was doing. I was waking up at four. Um, once I got done, remember I was using that uh, CPA super fast method. I don't want to talk too much about his method. Um, go to his uh, website. I'll put it in the link below and you can check it out yourself. But I was using his study guide to uh, study more efficiently. I was using my tutor to help me understand in a different language and I was putting in the work. Like there's no secret sauce or um, secret way to really score high. You got to put in the work. Uh, so you got to put in the hours. You got to put in the work. There's no other way to really move, uh, move around it. 
So although I had a tutor, although I had this great supplemental uh, guy to help me go through the exam, I still couldn't abort the work. I had to put in the work. I had to um, really put in the hours and it came out as a 78. While I was, I can't tell you what's on the exam, but I remember when I was taking the exam, I felt good. I'm not gonna lie, I felt better than I did the first time I took it. I was like, I think I did good. I felt good. And one of the things I did, check this out. This is my first time doing this. I felt odd uh, and I felt regged before. So one of the things that I switched up um, that another CPA friend told me to start doing, I took flashcards. I, I, I wrote flashcards, right, of everything in CPA super fast that would teach you, they would show you how to really go about your flashcards. But I took flashcards and um, every answer that I got wrong that I couldn't was like, oh, dang, I just don't know that. I wrote it down. Pen and paper, old fashioned. I wrote it down. I didn't do Quizlet, none of that. Pen and paper, old fashioned, wrote it down. And then I would just, I would look through there all, you know, my off days, my off time. And I actually took this, I didn't take it in the testing center, of course, but I took it in the test center uh, facility building. And I, as they were doing things or whatever, I was just in the chair, just going through it. Last minute review. Um, not sure if this helped me or not, but it ingrained, it's kind of like a memorization test in a way, because it ingrained some of the things that I saw um, on the exam and granted the stuff that I was looking at five minutes prior to the exam showed up on my, um, my actual test. So that's another thing that I did, but mainly I just put in the work, um, got sick of felon, said, Hey, I got to do something about it. Hired a tutor, got the CPA super fast and kind of just went about like I, this, you know, it got to work or it got to work. Um, I know if, you know, I can't be running my own tax and advisory firm while being a CPA, right? So um, that's it, made a 78 on my test. Um, I did his next, about to kill that one too, following the same guy. But I will put the link to my tutor that I used and that CPA super fast um, guy thing I was using and how he goes about studying and whatnot. Um, it, it was great, it helped me out, I'm back on it. But just wanted to do this video. I'm not a YouTuber, not a you know smooth guy or nothing. This video is just raw. I'm gonna upload it on YouTube. Hope you find some joy of it. Thank you.